So I picked up the TRX4 LED light set. Now this includes the LED light bar, it includes the rock light kit, and it also includes the headlights and tail lights. Now the one thing I want to say about this straight away is for £85, I'd expect this in a box. The packaging could have been a little bit better guys. Let's get this installed. Gonna remove the fenders first. So we're taking all of the fenders off, we can now obviously work on taking the headlights and the tail lights out. There are three screws, one, two, three, on both the headlights. So there are the front headlights installed now. Let's do the rear tail lights. Now I'm gonna put some Gorilla tape on these cables just to keep them nice and tidy and stuck to the edge of the shell. So we're gonna do the fender lights next. These are also known as the rock light set. I put some more Gorilla tape on there just to make sure the lights are kept out of the way. So underneath, you can see the little LEDs, they're in like a quad design there. They just sort of sit under the fenders. So I've really got to put this thing back together now. And the front headlights are in, ready to go. And then we can look at mounting the um, LED light bar on the roof. The very last screw. So unfortunately I don't have a body reamer. So a power drill will have to do instead. Whoa, what's he doing? Well, end of the day, it's cut it quite cleanly actually. So we've installed the power unit here and then obviously we can plug it into the red cable on the ESC. We also need to wire a signal cable from the radio. There are two screws here on the battery tray. We're just going to take these out for a second so we can lift the tray up and um, just wire that cable underneath so we can get it to radio without it getting in the way. So we'll plug that into channel number one. Need small hands for this. So this is fully wired now. I've done it as best I can, it's all wired under the battery tray into the receiver box. As you can see it comes out the other side here and obviously into the um, lighting module. So I've cable tied this up as best I can. Let's switch it on. See the, the light bar on the top is already on. Let's just plonk this on top of here for a moment. Let's have a little look at this shall we. I'm just going to turn some lights off here.
So this light bar has two power settings. You can see the rock lights straight away underneath there. They just sit in the arches and they sort of glow on the floor. I really like those. On the front here I fitted a pretend winch. So that is pretty much all there is to say about this lighting system. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.